Oh, nothing. You look great. See you upstairs, okay? What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. In my family, everything runs through my mom. She's in charge, she is the rock of the family. And we all know you're in amazing shape, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to see if she is the rock in the gym. What do you think? Well, I might be the rock here. I don't know that I'm gonna be the rock there. Well, I mean, it's not uncommon for you to do an orange theory and then immediately come home and then go on to the Peloton. So some call that obsessive. I call that obsessive too. Really? To be honest, yeah. No. What's your step count today already? Keep in mind right now it's only 1040. 8200. 8200? Oh, it's actually not as much as I thought. Well, I, because you were coming here today. You like, are slacking. Today. I, I'm slacking. It's, yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, so pretty much the video today, my mom and I are gonna be eating and training like the rocks. We're gonna go make some breakfast before a crazy workout. Just by the way, I have also been on the pose. You have been on the pose? Yeah. yeah, me and Cody Rigsby. So for breakfast today, we are making The Rock's staple breakfast that he was eating one week out to be in peak shape for the movie Black Adam. So it consists of some flank steak, egg whites, brown rice, and blueberries sauteed up. And uh, I'm gonna give you steak duty, okay? Okay. I'll do the yeah. rest, so you know, make sure to cook it. I don't want beef carpaccio. Uh, no. okay. I, I'll cook it. It's your dad that does beef carpaccio. It's not the raw meat I want to wake up to. So I'm going to do egg whites, brown rice, blueberries, steak. Right. <laughs> She's watching me the whole time making this meal. She's like, like that. I think it's still mooing, Mom. Oh no, we can't eat that. No, no, we're gonna have to put that back on yeah. the pan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe we just like um, dice it and put it in here. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay, so we got our. Just throw your hands right in. What are you? Well, oh. you, I thought you said you didn't want all the blueberries. Yeah, don't go with. Hmm? We're in a pandemic. Breakfast is served, and before we get into it, I have a thought. I'm gonna share it. Um, I feel like this is definitely a rock thing to do. But, but before I get into it, I love you, Dwayne. I love all your videos. I love your work. But adding the blueberries on top. It's just such a rock thing. It's kind of like going with it. Like, I don't have time to put it in a different bowl. I'm grinding. I get up at 4 a.m. to go in the Stairmaster. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it adds that nice sweetness factor, maybe. You think so? Yeah. I have a sensitive palate, and if this you disrupts. What? Yeah. It, if this you, disrupts. Hold, hold on. You have a sensitive palate. I sure do. <laughs> That's probably the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. What are you trying to say? I've seen you just put mountains of food in your mouth. I have not seen that you have a particular Mountains of good food. Oh, mountains of good food. Yeah, so right. if this disrupts my savory bite, I'll be frustrated. I don't think it's gonna have that effect. I'm gonna have a very inclusive bite here, one of everything. Well, I was all about the blueberries. Right off the bat, it's weird. Do you mm -hmm. think? Cause he has a, probably has like seven private chefs that would cook it down. Right raw on top. I know, because it's better if it's cooked down. It's gonna be like jam. Yeah, like like a like a blueberry barbecue sauce. No, I like it like this. Actually, I think he's got he's onto something here. That's that steak like instantly melts in your mouth. You know what? I have to say, when you were cooking this, I thought it looked pretty disgusting. It actually doesn't look the greatest, but you know it's really quite good. The blueberries make it. You're whack. Mm. Yeah. This has that unexpected little twist. That's what I Oh. The unexpected burst that we all love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of funny. This is actually a, a good sized meal. Good mm. calories, but it's probably still less than you're serving a Greek yogurt you usually have. You should see, she has like 750 grams probably. That Those like containers of Costco, that's what, one or two two days? Two days. Two, two Depends breakfasts. Depends on if you come over. 
You're just you're just laying it down on me today. What did I do? <laughs> did I do something? No. Get your hands in my meal. You really made a dent. It's just you eat fast, honey. It's just no. You like to talk. I like to eat. Oh. That's not what it is. We're gonna be doing arms today. We're gonna let this digest for probably an hour. We're gonna head to the gym. And while we're doing the workout, I have a little bit of a surprise for you and I won't tell you until we get there. About to hop into an arm and ab workout. I didn't realize there was abs, but you're definitely gonna kick my ass in that. Um, and I gotta address off the bat my shorts because I know they're pretty out there. They're gym shark. Um, I like them, what do you think? I love them. You love they're, them? They're like so mod squad, psychedelic. Okay, so right off the bat, there's no skipping between sets and they're gonna be eager to kind of do something. But this is supposed to be tough. This is the Rock's workout, so it's going to catch up to you. Yes. And the surprise I told you about at breakfast is I'm going to give you Dwayne The Rock Johnson trivia during the workout. Okay. okay? Okay. And the first question of the day, I want you guys to also answer it as well, is what pro sport did he play before going to wrestling? Is it A, football, B, fencing, C, basketball, or D, MMA? Okay. Well, first of all, I didn't even know he was a wrestler. Okay. But to me, he looks like a football player. So I'm going to say football. Are you locking that in, final answer? Lock, final answer. You are correct. So we actually played in the CFL for the Calgary Stampeders, but fun fact, he was cut in the early 90s because he sucked. No. Yeah. And funny enough, do you know Terry Crews, the actor? No. You don't know who he is? I've never heard of him. That's shocking to me. Is he related to Tom Cruise? He is not. They're actually very different. But he was also cut from the NFL, and now they're just beast mode actors. So okay. that's just crazy how that works. Yeah. So. Yeah, so we're about to hop into the workout right now. The first thing we are doing is dumbbell curls, four sets of 15, and The Rock has huge arms. You gotta prioritize the triceps. They take up two thirds of your arms. So if you want your arms to grow, hammer the triceps and prioritize those. So, ready to work out? Ready. Let's do it. Last set of curls. I'm going with 50s, mom. Whoa. You're inspiring me. I'm going for a PR. Hey. You live with your mom. It's like it's pretty much like you're on a dose of steroids. So before we get on to exercise number two, trivia question number two. Okay. What Guinness World Record did he once hold? Was it A, most watermelon carries? in 100 meters, most selfies taken in three minutes, most opponents suplexed in five minutes, longest barefoot be field goal punt. I'm gonna go with the, the barefoot field goal punt. Kind of makes sense with the football, but you yes. are incorrect. He actually had the world record for the most selfies taken in three minutes at 105. And he took with fans back in 2015 that was finally broken by Donnie Wahlberg. Oh! So there you go. Hey, wow. How do you stay so, every rep, the first, your, your face is just like, and I'm like, can we just take a look at the striated shoulders? The bicep vein, the separation right here. You know you're like the reason that people believe I'm still natural. Like it's because of my genetics from you. The genetics. So thank you, Mom. Thank you're you. welcome anytime, baby. Yeah. We see how I have to go. Hey, you, you want to like fling yourself in the wall, kind of just stay tight. There you go. One. Yeah. So before we get into the last exercise for biceps, trivia question number three. And that is, what undergraduate degree did he earn at Miami University? Is it either A, fine art, B, criminology, C, gender studies, and then D, he didn't earn a degree. The degree earned him. I'm gonna say criminology, because okay. I think that maybe he wanted to be in law enforcement or something. You are correct, so he earned a bachelor degree in criminology and physiology. He actually wanted to be in the CIA as a kid, oh. um, but he didn't have the grades to get there. Oh. He got yeah. a C instead of the I, instead of the A. Instead of the A. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Like that? yeah. 
Okay, so the next exercise we are doing is the spider curl. So you've never done this one. I've never even heard of it. Yeah, so you gotta go light. So do you have your ego? If you do, leave it at the door for this one, okay? An ego for, for the weights? I mean, you've been showing it there. Yeah, you were showing it earlier. So if you have an ego, there's, leave there's it. There's no ego for this. Okay, so what you're doing is you're gonna grab your dumbbells, light. You're gonna face this way on the bench, and you're gonna lie like this, arms like that. One, squeeze. Two, like that, okay? How you feeling? Good. Good? Yeah. Keep on going. You got some stamina. I have very good endurance. Okay, you're good. We're all doing a 100 rep challenge right now. We have tricep push down, four sets of 15 reps. So a lot of volume, a lot of reps in this workout. What do you think so far? I like it. You like it? Yeah. I do too. Yeah. I think for arms, like a lot of reps going to failure is the best way to go. So I'm gonna ask you trivia question number four. Okay. And that one is, in what country was his father born? Oh. Canada, USA, Hawaii, it's not actually a country, and Samoa. 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 I yeah, I think it's Samoa. You sound confident. Are you sure? You're locking that answer in. Yeah, yeah. You are incorrect. It's Canada. Oh. His dad is born in Canada. Keep these locked. Good. Try to get the forearm touch the bicep. Uh, good. Now go. We're about to do overhead tricep extensions, three sets, not four, of 15 reps again. What is his favorite food, okay? okay? Is it A, the souls of his enemies, B, banana chocolate chip pancakes, C, a fried chicken French toast sandwich, D, four chicken breasts with a light balsamic glaze and a side of sauteed mushrooms? Oh, I'm gonna say the, the uh, pancakes, the bananas and chocolate chips. Are you locking it in? Yeah, I'm gonna lock that in. Seems like more of a favorite. Yeah? Yeah. You are correct. Banana chocolate chip pancakes are his favorite thing. Topped off with some tequila infused maple syrup, some peanut butter, and whipped cream. Okay, so the last trivia question of the day. Why did he have a hard time in high school? Okay, so A, he had terrible BO. His dad was the principal. Classmates thought he was an undercover cop. He kept hitting classmates with his elbow. He couldn't have BO. He's, I don't think so. I think People change, I, Ma. People change. <laughs> well, you know what? When you were little, you didn't, and then you did, so that is true. So I'm going to say his dad was the principal. So his family moved a around a lot frequently for his dad's work. Okay. And him being six foot four, 215 pounds, he looked very old for his age. The other high school kids thought he was a narc, an undercover <laughs> cop. Really? Which is why nobody really was liked him in high school. Was he bald then too? That's sad. Yeah, so I guess you're going to lead the way for uh, the apps okay. and I'll just kind of slowly follow along. Yeah. <laughs> More mama. All right. The Russian twist. Oh, perfect. You like those, don't you? I know you do. Was that, was that extra for good measure? I just want to show you up. 
We have one final bonus question. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who is your favorite child? A, Will. B, Victoria. C, Elizabeth. D, none of them. Oh. Well, you know, we have this long-standing thing in our family that Elizabeth is the favorite. So, I'm gonna have to go with that. Okay, so we are back in the kitchen and now it's time for the fun stuff. We were making one of The Rock's most recent cheat meals that he posted on his Instagram. It is a jumbo shell pasta with a vodka bolognese sauce. Ooh. So, I mean, he didn't specify the meat, but I know he is a massive bison fan. Do you like bison? I don't, I haven't really had it very often. It's a sweet meat, one of my nicknames in high school. It's a sweet oh. meat, wholesome sweet meat. Okay. Yeah. One day I'm gonna be the onion fries. Wrong side! Damn! We're gonna be, I mean, we're not kissing anybody tonight. Let's just say okay. that. That was garlic powder. A little garlic. Yeah. It very, like, you can taste the culture in it. If you can taste the culture in that, yeah. you need to get out more. There it is. We got something, Mom. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, you could drown me in that. The way you swim, you could be drowned in anything. Oh! Dish, you just your hands go in. Well, yeah. Yeah. What's your point? Well, yeah. That was my point. But yeah, as you can see, we also have two bagels on the side of the dish. Now I feel like he did this to make a statement. It's kind of like if you broke up with your girlfriend and then the next week you upload an Instagram with a, with another girl with a new girl. I feel like he's not afraid of his reputation to be able to share this to the public at large. The bagels. Yeah. I don't, I don't get the bagels. Yeah, I don't really get it. Yeah. Um, he always uses fresh parm. You can't really trust the purity of powders by the time it gets to you. So I love fresh parm, don't you? I do. I'm gonna drop it from a height, modern vibe. And I'm there the one that's in trouble for the fingers here. When I think of the rock, and I think of the rock's mouth, I think of carbs going in it. Yes. And this is like, I feel like an athlete, we're just cycling through carbs. This is like peak performance. Feel that. But you know what, he, he he like really enjoys it though, right? Like, like Yeah, he does, right? totally. Like, yeah. Like this is something I would make um, for like recovering from the trauma of Squid Game. Like this is something I would need to have yeah. after. This is not something I just have on a regular Sunday. No. The bagels, I don't know where he gets the bagels from. He's just trying to be the rock, man. That shot of cream can bring new life to a dish in, in real life, <laughs> but it's really good. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. And that bison, you can tell it's just like a, a large grazing animal. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? You get that vibe? I do. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the rock. Yeah. It's a large grazing animal? Yeah. Large I guess so, animal. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not afraid of multiple meats at a time, so I shouldn't be afraid of multiple carbs at a time. Mm. And I feel like he did this. This is like the vessel for the noodles. And I'm going to try this. So I got that. I'm going to leave you. Aren't you worried about your discerning palate right now? No, I, no. I, I know I'm gonna love this. Yeah. <coughs> the parm got deep. Oh my. Are you okay? My eyes are watering. Yeah. <clears throat> but that was good. That Wait. was dangerous. I it was know. dangerous. I, Holy yeah. shit. That was actually close. I thought I was gonna have to wow. high you. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how to do that? Yeah. I don't think you could pick me up. Though. I don't think so. Yeah. But Maybe I would have done, I done my damnedest. Lads. Yeah. You could do it. Wow, right immediately. Having that as the vessel for the noodles just puts you in the vibe. I just want to like binge now and unite the rest of the bagels into my stomach with the other one I just had. I think a lot of people just <coughs> stuff them. So you should have one bite for the camera. Why? 
Just like this. No, what, so I can choke like you? I'm not choking. Sure. I'm sleeping. So people say I suffer from insanity, but I say I enjoy every second of it. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna choke. Because I've been witness to it here. A little choking's fine, Mom. No. It's so fun. <sighs> no wonder you're choking. You choke? What? Did you almost choke? No, but I can I can see why you did because you put It's like, a slippery slope down. You know what I mean? It just goes like right in. No, it's like it's like a rock. <clears throat> you sort of open wide and let it slide. You know? No. Do I always say, Well, this is a case of the dish owning you and me owning the dish. Yes. The dish submits to me. <laughs> and that thing just took you over. Well you can finish mine too. Okay, I will. So we all know The Rock is a big tequila fan, and he has—he actually has his own um, tequila company, Terramana Tequila, but we can't get that in Canada, but we are still going to end this video in style with a shot of tequila. Cheers. Cheers. This will be the second time <clears throat> I have tequila since the other time you made me have tequila. No. 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 Well, we did it. That was the video. That was eating. <laughs> And training, that was really awkward. That was eating and training, like The Rock. If you guys wanna see more videos with my mom, leave a comment, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.